Shalom. Today I will be talking about the last gathering with my disciples on the day before the crucifixion. The Last Supper was painted by Leonardo da Vinci according to New Testament descriptions. He convincingly portrayed the reactions of my followers when I revealed Judas' treachery. This account of that night is found in the Gospel of John. It was just before the Passover festival, and I knew that the hour had come to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved those who were in the world, I loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray me. I knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that I had come from God and was returning to God, so I got up from the meal, took off the outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around my waist. After that, I poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around me. I came to Simon Peter, who said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? I replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter to me. You shall never wash my feet. I answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part with me. Then, Lord, Simon Peter replied, Don't just wash my feet but my hands and my head as well. I answered. Those who have had a bath need only to wash their feet, their whole body is clean. And you are clean, though not every one of you. I knew who was going to betray me, and that was why I said not everyone was clean. When I had finished washing their feet, I put on my clothes and returned to my place. Do you understand what I have done for you? I asked them. You call me, Teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and Teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should follow, as I have done for you. Very truly, I tell you, no servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. I am not referring to all of you, I know those I have chosen. But this is to fulfill this passage of Scripture, He who shared my bread has turned against me. I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Very truly, I tell you, whoever accepts anyone I send, accepts me, and whoever accepts me, accepts the one who sent me. After I said this, I was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. My disciples stared at one another, at a loss to know which of them I meant. One of them, the disciple whom I loved, reclined next to me. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said. Ask him which one he means. Leaning back against me, he asked. Lord, who is it? I answered. It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, I gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered him. So I told him. What you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why I said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought I was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival, or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out and it was night. When Judas was gone, I said. Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked me, Lord, where are you going? I replied, where I am going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then I answered, will you really lay down your life for me? Very truly, I tell you, 
before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. It is very important to understand and live by the new command in this sermon, if you want to be one of my followers. Without it, I will not know you. Amen.